Hi guys, welcome to a plan with me video for the month of December. I cannot believe that 2018 is almost over. It is insane how quickly this went, right? Okay, so I'm starting off with this brown craft sticker paper and I've already drawn some boxes on it. I'm going to use this um, washi that I got at Target this past week. It was a set of three for like five dollars um, in the normal like stationary aisle. My theme is not very clear as of yet, but I do know that I want to do certain elements, such as I want it to be gold, and I know that I want it to be vertical. I am using Erin Condren's vertical style of planning for this month, and I also know that I want to participate in Documented Journeys Challenge for December, which is hashtag created December. 2018. Brie has come up with some really cute prompts uh, for the first 24 days of December. I know this may seem a little strange to any of you who have been watching for a long time, thank you so much by the way, um, that I'm using so much washi because I typically don't use it and I often say that I don't like using it in my journal, however because this is December, um, my book can handle the little bit of extra bulk now that I know that uh, you know the year is almost over this is the last um, few pages of my book how sad although I am excited to move into a brand new journal there's just something about that right in any case we are going to use um, one of these micron to outline the boxes. I had fallen out of love with these guys for a little bit because the nib seemed to get lost <laughs> very quickly. I tend to push a little hard. I was, I felt like I was wasting a lot of the marker by ruining the nib so early on. I ended up having to come back to them with my tail between my legs because they are in fact the best fine liner when it comes to wet media. They don't run as opposed to other ones that I thought would be great for that task. Uh, here I'm just adding some shadows with my Tombow. I am not great at shading. I never know where my light source is coming from as my high school teacher used to tell me. But listen, I go by whatever kind of looks good to me. So don't judge please. I thought some red bows would be really festive and I'm really excited that I found this Micron in red. However, they ended up looking a bit small. I grabbed for my gold jelly roll, which I should have known better because since I've gotten this pen, I've never actually had great results. Then I tried my Posca marker and that did not work out well at all. It oversaturated my paper and just became this blobby kind of mess. So then I <laughs> got my uni ball and yes, success. And then I had to grab the Tombow because now I had to clean up a huge mess. So bigger bows and more ribbon and uni balls save the day and I am much happier with the way this looks.
but I did feel like it needed a little more stuff. So here's what it actually looks like now. Thank goodness for the magic of video editing and you don't have to sit here and watch me draw these lines and measure out the page in real time. So if you haven't guessed it already, this is going to be my daily view, um, my dailies, so to speak, and um, this is that vertical planning from Erin Condren that I was talking about earlier. Let's add some gold washi to the bottom. I have a bit of OCD and I don't love it when months don't start on a Monday for planning sake, but uh, here's Saturday and Sunday. My headers are courtesy of Christina77star is her handle on Instagram. I've been following her forever and I had actually saved these from a long, long time ago. I really thought they were cute, these little uh, date and weather icons. And since this month I will not be doing a circular tracker, I wanted to do something different and these seemed appropriate and they're so cute. Plain and simple, this is my gratitude page, nothing fancy here. Let's draw some more lines and this will be my new monthly productivity calendar which I am loving. You can also kind of call a social media tracker or a work scheduling tracker. Um, this is just where I keep track of where I'm posting, how much I'm posting, just to see if it's consistent. I want to be fair to all of my audiences across all my social media because I realize that not everybody follows me on every one of my social media endeavors. I've had this question asked before, and as I was editing this, I knew that I would get it again. I do not know why I start backwards. It might be a little left over from when I studied Chinese. I don't know. Um, I don't actually write the date backwards. I do start at the first letter. And then I also don't know why I skip around with the numbers. I am obviously looking at a printed calendar, um, to make sure that my numbers are correct and this just makes sense in my brain. I have no idea. I am really sorry if it bothers you. A tiny little washi flag for this page. Okay, let's take a little flip through, why don't we? Splash page, my usual monthly, my productivity monthly, one of my dailies, mm, gratitude and my first week, and there's another weekly and another one, and the last one, and some blank pages for whatever may come. Let's put some washi on this page.
Alrighty guys, I hope you enjoyed this video. I can't wait to see everybody else's plan with me videos and posts. Um, please leave a comment and I will see you guys soon. Bye! If you haven't already, please like and subscribe. Don't miss a thing. Thanks so much for watching. Bye!